B stance cast glute bridge. So this is a glute biased exercise. And the difference between this and a normal hip thrust or glute bridge, a standard hip thrust, you're gonna be starting from the ground and you're gonna be going all the way up and all the way back down. Now with a cast glute bridge, we're gonna be going only as far down until our knees start tracking backward. So if I go all the way up and come down, right about here is the bottom position before my knees start coming back. If I start going lower, watch what happens with my knees. See how they're coming back toward me. That's where I wanna stop the movement is before that happens. And the reason for that is to try to isolate as best as possible or spend as much time as possible in the glute's active range of motion. And now with the B stance, we are just using one leg. It's kind of like a kickstand for balance. And then the other leg is gonna be the working leg. So let's use my right leg as the working leg, left leg as the kickstand. I'm gonna go up, get my knee in position or foot in position rather. This one, there's really not much weight on it, just keeping it there for balance. And I'm gonna push into the ground and squeeze my glutes. And I come down and back up. And notice at the top here, it's about a 90 degree angle at my knee. That's good. You do not want it like this. You do not want it like this. This would be a little bit more hamstring. So right about here, good. You may need to take a video or set up a mirror or something, or even your camera, um, just do it on you know, the facing toward you so you can see the screen to make sure that you're getting about that 90 degree angle. Okay, let me do a few reps. So up, squeeze, down, just like this. And a very common thing that I see with hip thrusts and glute bridge is people don't tuck their ribs. The ribs are up like this and they, they lead with their stomach. And anybody can do this. I'm telling you, anybody can do this for an exorbitant amount of weight, but it's not helping you. It's really not benefiting you. Your spine isn't really gonna be neutral. It's probably gonna cause a little bit of lower back pain. It's probably not anything too serious, but we're not able to get the right amount of stimulus to the glutes, which are the target in this exercise. All right, so um, if you haven't done these before, whether you have or haven't, I would highly recommend starting out with body weight only. I would be very impressed if a lot of people could get more than 20 of these body weight with really, really good form and focusing on pushing their foot as hard as possible into the ground. I mean, already, this is kind of difficult for me, and I'm not even using any weight at all, all right? Now, if you're a superhero and you do wanna use some weight, what you're gonna do, grab your dumbbell, pull down to your hips, bring your foot in just like this. Again, with that kickstand on the opposite leg, and here we go. And again, just going far enough down before my knee starts tracking backward. There we go. 